हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंडस्ट्रियल प्रैक्टिस सो इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई विल लाइक टू कंप्लीट द रिस्ट्रिक्टेड अर्थफॉल्ट रिले सेटिंग फिनिश ओके सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो व्हाट वी डिस्कस्ड वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सिटी रेशियो सिलेक्शन दैट हाउ द रेशियो ऑफ द लाइन सिटी एंड न्यूट्रल सिटीज टू बी सिलेक्टेड फॉर रिस्ट्रिक्टेड अर्थफॉल्ट प्रोटेक्शन now this restricted earth fault protection in the earlier two videos uh, in one video i have described the restricted earth fault protection philosophy and the previous video i have described the city ratio selection so if you have not watched this two video i am giving link in the i button so please check this two video first then you watch this video uh, i hope that you will have all your doubts clear in this video you will never face any problem to uh, regarding the restricted earth fault relay settings calculation okay so let's start this video so in this video we will learn how to select the knee point voltage of the city now in this video i will not uh, discuss about what is knee point voltage uh, that is beyond scope of this uh, video i will make a separate video on knee point voltage and city has a restricted earth fault protection scheme like this city is connected in this way that means this system will allow the relay to operate only if the earth fault has occurred inside this place okay but if the fault if any fault if earth fault or phase fault anything has occurred beyond this space space okay beyond this place if the fault has occurred here then the relay will not operate this is the basic idea now in my earlier video which link i have given in the i button uh, we have discussed that how uh, restricted earth fault prevents the relay to operate from earth fault outside the restricted zone that means if any earth fault happened here the restricted earth fault relay will not operate but what if if there is any through fault or any phase fault outside the restricted earth fault zone suppose if there is a line to line fault or three phase fault then what will happen then a huge current will flow through these cities okay now when the huge current flows this through this city the city gets saturated and due to this saturation a voltage appeared across these cities okay see i have mentioned a voltage across this city since all the cities are connected in parallel so equal voltage will be appeared across all the cities this is called vs now this voltage will try to drive a current through this relay coil see this diagram suppose a through fault if line to line fault has occurred at this point then current is flowing through this path a huge current is circulating like this okay now this two ct will have a voltage vs appeared across these two terminals and this voltage this saturation voltage or stabilizing voltage will drive a current through the relay coil now if the current is higher than the relay pick up current then the relay will pick up although the fault is outside of the protection zone so our first objective is to prevent pick up of the relay if the fault is outside of the protection zone so now how we will we collect uh, calculate this vs see this vs has the formula like this if that is fault current in ampere by ct ratio since this is a 4000 by 1 ampere ct so the ratio is 4000 then r ct rct is the internal resistance of this city this is a specified value you have to specify this value uh, generally it is specified as less than equal to 5 ohm that means resistance of the city should not be greater than 5 ohm then 2 rl what is rl rl is the lead resistance see these cities are generally placed at the transformer line bushing or the neutral city is placed at the transformer neutral bushing but this relay 
is usually placed at switch gear or the relay panel which is generally away from this two city point or any or any of the city point this uh, this city is may be placed in the switch gear uh, in that case this neutral city will be away from the relay so there are possibility that these cities are placed away from the relay now this portion this conductor or this conductor this small conductor hmm, these conductors are of copper wire and this conductor has some resistance this resistance is the lead resistance rl now in generally industry single code 2.5 square mm copper cables are used so these cables are single code 2.5 square mm copper cable which has a resistance of around 9.48 to 9.5 ohm per kilometer so suppose our relay is away from the city by 50 meter let us assume that this distance here the small distance and this distance is 50 meter from the relay so what will be the rl rl will be 9.48 into 50 by 1000 ohm for 50 meter okay 0.47 ohm for 50 meter now you have to calculate the rl as per your and as per your project length whatever the length is applicable as per the um, site condition you have to find out the rl and you have to specify this rct as the maximum value for example in this video i have set it at 5 ohm that means i will specify the city manufacturer that resistance of the city shall not go beyond 5 ohm okay so what will be my this vs this will be 40,400 uh, 40, by 4,000 into 5 plus 2 into 0.47. Now this 40,400 uh, 40, is the fault current. I have taken a 11 by 4.433 kV. This should be kV. Hmm. kV 2.5 MBA transformer. So it has a percentage impedance of 8.25 ohm. So if you calculate, you will get the fault current of around 40 kilo ampere. So uh, like this, I have calculated that Vs is equal to around 60 volt. So knee point voltage should be at least two times greater than this Vs. Okay, so knee point voltage should be greater than 120 volt. But there are several factor that content the, that controls the knee point voltage the major factor is your lead length length of this cable so if the cable length increases due to any site condition or practical requirement then your knee point voltage will also requirement of knee point voltage will also increase so better you take additional cushion for selection of the knee point voltage if this is the value the recommended knee point voltage will be 400 volt so knee point voltage should be written as v knee vk should be greater than equal to 400 volt or 650 volt it should be it is always better to keep the knee point voltage on the higher side that will be safer for you okay now i will discuss now i have said earlier that this stabilizing voltage or vs will try to drive a current through the relay coil now I have to put I have to make sure that due to this voltage the amount of current flowing through this relay coil is less than the pickup current of the relay so what we have to place we have to place another resistance called stabilizing resistance okay this resistance will restrict the voltage and will limit the current so that the relay does not pick up so let us see calculation of this stabilizing resistor so now we will discuss about the uh, setting of the relay suppose the relay has a pickup range of 0 0.05 to 1 into in generally relay pickups are written like this way now note that and um, memorize it forever that this in is the city secondary rating okay in our case 1 ampere is the city secondary rating so if you select suppose i have select the pickup as 0 0.15 0 0.15 into in so the relay pickup will be i dash will be 0 0.15 ampere that is the secondary current that means what will be the primary current it will be it will be 0 0.15 into 4000 so for the value of 0 0.15 into 4000 ampere 
in the primary the relay will pick up okay so for secondary if 0.415 ampere current flows through the relay coil in uh, through the city secondary or through the relay coil the relay will pick up now you have uh, earlier we have discussed that a stabilizing voltage of 60 volt has appeared across the terminal now your relay is supposed to pick up at 0.15 ampere that means you have to place some value of resistance which will uh, let the 60 volt to drive such a current which is less than 0.15 ohm 15 ampere so what will be the value it will be obviously vs by i that means the stabilizing resistor value of the stabilizing resistor will be greater than vs by this i dash okay now you have to deduct another part that is the relay has some power consumption capability it has some own VA burden own burden the relay has its own burden so you can detect the value of the resistance value due to this uh, relay burden so what will be that it will be VA, VA burden of the relay by I dash square okay so your calculated value will be 60 by 0.15 we have I have considered VA burden of the relay as one VA it may vary manufacturer to manufacturer you have the, you have to take the actual burden from the manufacturer's data okay by 0.15 square that is 355.55 ohm so your r dash that is value of the stabilizing resistor should be greater than or equal to 355.55 ohm so if you place like this if you place a uh, stabilizing resistor of this value 355 or 360 ohm and uh, set the relay at 0 0.150 ampere so they will absolutely works fine so if we summarize all the discussion so this this basically completes the setting of the restricted earth fault relay so now before concluding let me summarize all the steps so our step number one is calculate vs or the stabilizing voltage and v knee point voltage next is calculate pickup actually you don't have to calculate the pickup you have to basically set the pickup value uh, it is recommended to set the minimum value then calculate the stabilizing resistor value using this formula and then apply time delay if required if not required you can uh, make this relay operate an uh, instantaneous okay and uh, in the upcoming video i will tell why minimum setting is uh, very much necessary because if you set the uh, relay at minimum then it will be ensured your maximum percentage of protected winding okay i will discuss this on another video uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, principle of uh, setting calculation for restricted earth fault relay is very much clear to you so these three videos first the principle second the second video was the uh, CT ratio selection and third one is this one these three videos clears all the doubts and all the fundamentals of restricted art fault protection to you if you enjoyed this video please like share with your friend comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel also please hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications thank you very much see you in our next video